Hello and welcome back to AWS Tech Guide lecture. Today we will learn how to configure Jenkins for static code analysis. If you are following this Dev of Hands-on series of AWS Tech Guide, then you must have seen how to install Jenkins, Docker or Sonar Cube in a virtual system. Now today we will configure Java Maven in Jenkins, configure Sonar Cube in Jenkins, and after that we will create a static code analysis job in Jenkins. So to give you an overall idea about this complete Dev of series by AWS Tech Guide is that we are going to complete every step of DevOps starting from static code analysis to sanity testing in Perl. And in between that, we will be covering build application, store artifact, deploy to QA, then functional testing, performance testing, deploy to code with various tools and techniques. So now let's go to Jenkins to configure static code analysis job by configuring SonarCube. As you see, I'm already logged in into Jenkins. First, let's go to Manage Jenkins. Click on Global Tool Configuration. Click on Add JDK. And we have to install JDK here. So give a name. JDK install automatically select JDK version. So I will suggest to go for with JDK 8 because it depends on which JDK version you have used for your application development. Click on agree and it will ask your Oracle account to install this JDK. So you have to provide your username and password for your Oracle account. Okay, so it has added my Oracle account credential and now scroll down, we'll click on add Maven. Just give an M Maven. Install from this, let it be. Click on save. So till now we have configured JDK and Maven in our Jenkins. Now let's install SonarCube plugin to configure SonarCube in Jenkins. Go back to Jenkins. Click on manage Jenkins. Click on manage plugins. Click on available. Search here Sonar Cube and select this Sonar Cube scanner. Click on download now and install after restart. Click this checkbox restart Jenkins. It will take some time and it will install the plugin and again come back. It will ask you to log in into Jenkins. Now it is asking to log in into Jenkins again. Go back to your manage plugin. Go to install. Just sort by this uninstall column so it will be quicker for you to find whether it has installed or not. As you see that Sonar Cube scanner for Jenkins has been installed. Now click on available find Maven just search Maven And make sure this Maven integration is installed. Currently it is not installed. So click on that. And again, click on download now and install after restart. 
click this restart button and enable auto refresh. Again, login into your Jenkins. Till now, we have installed Sonar Cube Scanner plugin as well as Maven. Now we have to configure Sonar Cube with Jenkins. First, let's disable auto refresh. Click on this disable. And if you find this enable auto refresh, then it is good. Now go back to manage Jenkins. Go to global tool configuration. Here you will find Sonar Cube Scanner. This is the Sonar Cube Scanner. Okay. Add Sonar Cube Scanner. Give a name. Click on install automatically and keep this version as it is. And just save. Perfect. Now we will create one static code analysis job to integrate our Sonar installation, Sonar Cube installation with Jenkins so that when we will be building our application code, the Sonar Cube will do the static code analysis. To create a job, click on new item, give an M code quality or anything you can select. Select Maven project, click on OK. Go to source code management, click on get. You have to put a repository URL. So I'm just going to AWS take guide repository. And from here, I'm selecting one repository. So I'm just clicking on DevOps demo. You can copy this repository links from here or otherwise you can use your own application GitHub repository URL. Enter the repository URL here and we have to add one credential here. So click on add Jenkins. Yes. Select kind as secret text. Okay. Add the secret ID and description as sonar. Add it. Scroll down. Click on pretty steps, select invoke top label Maven target, select Maven version as Maven we have configured and add the goal like this, Sonar Maven goal, Sonar host URL and this URL is actually your Sonar installation URL. Click on save. Go to Manage Jenkins, click on Configure System, scroll down and find the Sonar Cube. Here it is Sonar Cube Server. Click here Enable Injection of Sonar Cube Server Configuration as Build Environment Variable. Click on add sonar cube, just give a name, add the sonar cube server URL and select the server authentication token as sonar. Click on save, go to the job you are creating, go to configure. Scroll down and go to build environment and you will find this prepared Sonar Cube scanner environment. Click it here. Select Sonar from here. Click on save. Now click build now.
it will take few minutes to build click on this build number go to console output scroll down well the build has failed and it is showing the reason as please check the properties sonar login and sonar password so let's go back to our job configuration scroll down and go back to three step goal click on advanced and inside properties text field just mention your sonar dot login the login name username or sonar dot password as password by default the sonar username and password is admin and admin so just enter that click on save click build now again click on this build number go to console output so it's saying please provide compiled classes of your projects with sonar binary property okay so let's go back to the job configuration click on advance and add sonar sources here sonar sources and sonar test click on save click build now so if you get this error to handle this error you have to exclude this file and how to exclude this file it is a very normal error in uh, sonar build go to configure scroll down and click on advance and here add sonar inclusion and exclusions like this as you know that error for restful web services application test dot java so we are adding one exclusion and inclusion like this click on save click on build now click build number console output well it has successfully built the project let's go back to the job and as you see that we had few try and error
but that is good so once you are doing it yourself whatever the error or exception you face you can see from this video then how to fix it click on sonar cube and our project static code analysis is loading as it is showing two conditions failed two new bugs and this is our snapshot so now you have got to know how to create a Jenkins job to integrate sonar queue and do static code analysis and check your code quality let's go back to Jenkins I'm at Jenkins dashboard now now we will install one pipeline plugin go to manage Jenkins manage plugins search build pipeline click on this click on download now and install after restart check it log into your Jenkins now click on this plus icon to create a new view give a view name and select this build pipeline view click ok scroll down and select initial job code quality is our initial job so we have just selected click on ok perfect and it is showing this build pipeline we currently we have only one job that's why it is only sh showing one job now in our next lectures we will go to the next phases in our DevOps series we will be covering starting from static code analysis to deploy in production and sanity test in production so we have just covered in this lecture the static code analysis and build your application with Maven. We have seen how to integrate Sonar Cube in Jenkins, how to configure Maven into Jenkins job. Thank you for watching this tutorial and we'll see you in my next lecture. Thank you.